regarding sexual dysfunctions, although some of the disorders were renamed and some of the criteria were clarified, there weren't any major changes in DSM-5, except that the criterion that the symptoms must be present for a minimum of six months was added to address the issue of these disorders being overdiagnosed. One category where there were significant changes made is paraphilia. DSM-5 distinguishes between paraphilia and paraphilic disorders. Confused? Well, you may already know that paraphilia just means love of others. It refers to sexual interest in an object that is not innately associated with sex, say, for example, shoes. The distinction between paraphilia and paraphilic disorder was made to avoid pathologizing a harmless fetish. Many people have sexual fantasies that involve non-sexual objects or become sexually aroused by engaging in behaviors that may seem odd or unusual to some, say spanking or being tied up, but who have no mental disorder. However, should these fantasies or behaviors cause personal distress or involve harm to oneself or others or the exploitation of children, then the term paraphilic disorder would apply.